Hi, this is Allie from Mobile Monkey, and I'm going to talk about some best practices for uh, creating your messenger ad. So, when you create your messenger ad, you need to have a page in your bot that this ad is directed to, meaning some bot content that's going to be sent to your users when they click on that send message button on your ad. Um, and there's a couple different rules for what that uh, page can and cannot contain because only certain widgets will work with this JSON code and also it has to be under 150 characters and some of these widgets do cost a lot of characters so we want to keep it really really simple and I'm going to show you an example of how you would do that uh, so say for example I was running an ad saying um, send us a message to get 10% off so people would click send message and I would direct them to a page in my bot that would offer them a 10% off coupon. Now I may want to also gather some data from them like their email and their phone number and preferences, other stuff like that. So I could do that as well, but on my ad landing page, I really, really just need to keep it very, very simple. So what we recommend here is one quick question and that is it. So your quick question would say something like, do you want to receive 10% off? And I'd save that to 10% off. And I would only add one answer right here because that is all you need. And I could just say yes. So they only have one option they can click, but this still stays within the guidelines. So now say I want to go ahead and gather some information from them like their name and their email. Um, I would maybe put in this form that says, can I get your phone number? What is your email? So from this page, I would connect this yes button to the contact Hannah page because all of your subsequent pages after this initial landing page can have any content that you want. They can have any widget. It's just this initial one that has to be very simple. And if you want to push it and see if it works. You can add an image in here. Sometimes a GIF will work occasionally, but we really do recommend just keeping this very, very simple. And the reason for this is that because this is being applied into a JSON code, which is then applied into your ad, Facebook is sending the message directly. It's not being sent through Mobile Monkey. It will connect to Mobile Monkey directly after, but that initial message will be sent straight through Facebook. So you can't use any widgets that have any var variables. You can't use the form widget. You can't use the attribute widget. You can't use um, the navigate widget, and that's not it. So we do just recommend keeping it very, very simple. You also can't use any attributes in here. Like you can't say like, do you want to re receive 10% off first name? If you do put this in here, it's just going to literally say this. It's not going to pull in their first name. So again, keep it super simple. When the user does click that send message button, they're going to get this message. Do you want to receive 10% off? Obviously, they're, they're going to click yes, because if the ad was um, advertising that, then this is what they're here for. They click yes, and it goes straight to that contact Hannah page where you can get their phone number and their email and that stuff that you really, really want from them. So again, keep it simple. Stay within the character limit. One quick question, and that is the best practice for setting up a Facebook Messenger ad landing page in your bot. So thank you for watching, and good luck setting up your page.